these are the actual options within Christian Super. And uh, it's up until 2010, so we haven't got the last um, financial year in it. But it's just to explain the the time frames that you you need to invest if you're in particular options. So ethical shares, it's 100% in growth assets. And you're going to get negative years, at least one in every four, or that's the that's what they estimate. Uh, you need a time horizon of at least 10 years. And the target return is 4% uh, above um, inflation over five-year rolling periods. Now, there was a question that I had that somebody submitted that was, are the ex- these investment returns still realistic? Now, they don't seem particularly realistic and returns overall have been uh, pulled back a bit with the um, the global economy and the, I guess, largely dependent on the growth levels in, in the USA but also in Europe. Uh, so they might be a, bit, a little bit lower than this over over the next few years, but these were the expected long-term returns of these particular investment portfolios. Um, the average... The five-year average return on this, the ethical shares, is just under one percent. So, um, this this really shows the impact of these two negative years throughout the global financial crisis, where you had negative, I think that says thirteen point four, and negative twenty two percent. The previous two thousand six two thousand seven financial years were, you know, eighteen and nineteen percent, but they were you know, balanced out by these uh, two really negative years through the global financial crisis. Uh, If you move down a notch, the ethical growth portfolio has 67% growth assets and 33% defensive assets. So therefore, because of that balance of growth and uh, defensive assets, the negative returns reduced from one year to six, sorry, one year in six. And um, the time horizon, therefore, the time that you need to be in it to have a greater likelihood of achieving those positive returns uh, can be a bit shorter. It might be the seven-year period. And you can see that the return over the five-year period is 2.5% because of the defensive assets uh, providing a bit more growth during these negative years uh, down here. I won't go into as much detail with the rest of them, but the the, the further you move down the scale, the less risk. So ethical balance is a 50% growth, 50% defensive. Um, there should be only one in seven years that are negative. We've had two in this particular um, seven years, um, but it is the worst year, particularly uh, this particular year, uh, the worst year in you know 111 years of Australian share market history. And I guess that applies to the around the world as well. Uh, so as you can see, the... The higher the investment risk, the longer you need uh, to invest, so 10 years, 7 years, 5 years. As we move down to the last two portfolios, Ethical Stable, now we've got majority of defensive assets, 70% here and 30%. Only really should be 1 in 12 years that are negative. We've had, again, we've had um, two negative years. This one was slightly negative and this one was 4% uh, negative, nearly 5% negative, uh, but it is that you know, relating to the global financial crisis. And then if you look at ethical cash, uh, we've had uh, all positive returns. So over the last few years, being in cash would have been great. But the challenge is that we're only just really, uh, so we've gone 4, 5, 5.4, 4. Uh, something, and then uh, it's getting hard to see, but it's a, uh, you know, it might be a 4% there, I think, as well. Uh, so you're, you've got had a positive return in these investment portfolios, but over the long term, you're really just holding your own. Um, you, if you want to actually see your money grow, over the longer term, you need to have uh, some more uh, growth assets than just 100% shares. So this is the, um, the difficult um, uh, process that we all need to go through to decide, well, I'd prefer to have positive returns, but am I prepared to see my portfolio just grow at that four or potentially five percent um, uh, over the long uh, over the long term? So they're the Christian Super investment options. 